Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dave. On this channel, we talk about wealth and wealth creation. And today we're gonna talk about E-Trade. We're gonna do a one year review. So if you're looking for a brokerage account, not sure which one, well, this is the perfect opportunity to check out E-Trade. Talk about the pros, cons, quick tour of the platform. Get you out of here in no time. Stick around, whoop. Okay, so just a quick background. I've been using Fidelity for more than 20 years, and I've been using M1 and E-Trade now for a little over a year. So I kind of want to just give you a tour of the platform for starters. So let's jump in and take a look. Okay, so off we go. Uh, account setup and login is easy. Uh, I'll skip that, but uh, it's very intuitive, easy to walk through and get your account set up. And when you do log in, it's going to default to your complete view, which will be a list of all of your different accounts and what you have there. So I have two different accounts. The way I have it set up personally is I started trading a lot of options in here. And then once I hit my goal on my options site, I'm gonna start sweeping that over to a dividend account where I'm going to continually buy and hold. So I kind of just hit that threshold and I made my first purchase. So I'm just showing that to keep it kind of simple. So you see in this account, I just have one holding, which is AbV. Uh, and uh, yeah, you see that information down here. So. Uh, transferring money, you hit the transfer button up here and you can set that all up. I use, I guess it's ACH, uh, but it's also very intuitive. So I set it up with my bank account, no fee associated with it, and I can transfer it and have the, the funds immediately available. So very nice, easy, and simple to use. So uh, one of the first things that I really like about E-Trade is that it does allow custom views. So if you're used to uh, you know, working with a brokerage account, you're going to have kind of a default view when you log in, and that's what this one looks like, all positions. So you'll see AVV in the prices and things like that along here. But what I like is, you know, because I have a, a goal for this account, this particular one, I'm trying to do dividend investing, right? So if I go down here, I've made a custom view that I saved called dividend view, and it actually adds things like the ex-dividend date, dividend pay date, dividend yield, et cetera, and actually shows me the estimated annual income. So really like that. I like the flexibility of that. And I like that I'm kind of motivated by seeing it here and wanting to achieve it and maybe hit certain dates for certain stocks by certain times. So a big plus on that. If we move across the top here, you'll see you also can create watch lists, which I did previously when I first started up this account. I had some different holdings in here and. Uh, so that's kind of nice. You can do that just if you want to test things out. Um, and as you move across here, you're going to have everything else under the sun, including dividend reinvestment, turning on drip. Um, so all of it's very intuitive. It's where you kind of expect it to be. So let's jump in and look at trading. Um, let's go to stocks here under trading. And you'll see again, simple layout, easy to understand. Type in your symbol. So if I was gonna buy, let's see that app V. Type it in, it should give you a default there. Select your action just as you would expect. Buy, sell, quantity one, price and type, all of the ones you would expect to see, market limit, trailing stop, etc. So I just wanted to do a market order good for the day. I would preview that order and place the order. Nothing too fancy, but exactly what you would expect. Since we're talking about trading stocks, let's go ahead and take a look at their fees. Uh, E-Trade fees, stocks, options, and ETFs, all zero. Uh, you know, there's a lot of competition out there, so that's pretty routine now. That's kind of what you're gonna see. Uh, option contracts, there is a little bit of a charge. Um, 65 cents dropping to 50 after you trade enough. Uh, future contracts and bonds have a little bit of a fee, but overall, I haven't had too much. I do a lot of options trading, so there is something there and it's something to keep in mind, but overall fees aren't too excessive. So let's jump back and take a look at what else they have to offer, what we offer tab. Uh, whether, so whether it's brokerage, retirement, banking, uh, they cover the gambit, they have it all here. But uh, what I don't like is it just seems clumsy at times, especially when it comes to market research. Uh, items aren't always where I expect them to be. So. I'd like to get some feedback from you guys. If you're uh, familiar with E-Trade and you've used it a lot, do you like to use this for market research? Uh, I don't, uh, I, I tend to go elsewhere. Uh, but they break it down nicely between options, mutual funds, ETFs, and then they've got some nice planning tools. But for me, it never seems like it's the one that I go to. So 
Um, I prefer what I see it over at Fidelity um, or some other research uh, websites. So that's what I tend to use. That pretty much covers the core of what E-Trade is. I mean, you could spend hours in here looking at stock, stock screener, uh, uh, piddling around with things, but uh, that's the general idea of E-Trade and how it functions. Uh, very similar to other brokerage firms. I wanted to give you guys an idea before I jumped into pros and cons. All right, so let's talk some pros and cons, and we're going to start with the pros. I should be right here. Uh, first one I would say is customer service. So for, uh, from the moment I signed up for E-Trade, I got the account going. They actually reached out, gave me a phone call, uh, just kind of following up with me, which I thought was a nice way to start out with customer service. And then after that, I've had a couple of questions, and it hasn't been a 30 to 40 minute wait on the line. It's been a quick answer, questions. They got me the information that I needed. So overall, I think customer service has been a big plus. The second big pro that I found were the custom views. We kind of touched on those during the review, but the fact that you can set it all up exactly the way you want, you know, for me, it was a dividend account, right? So I could have the pay date, the X date, uh, how much it's going to be annually, and it's all nicely summarized. So not all platforms offer that, but E-Trade does. And I think that's a nice perk to be able to have that set up the way you want so it can meet your objectives. The third big pro is the intuitive design. I think E-Trade did a really good job of trying to make it streamlined and easy to use. So if you're a brand new trader, you should not be intimidated by it. Uh, if you're trying to just trade stocks, for example, it has a lot of information surrounding it that you can grab and pull from that will explain what you're doing. So that combined with the customer service, just very easy to get into, very easy to manage and, and move around the platform. So not everything in E-Trade works just the way I'd like it to. There are some cons. So let's take a look at those. Uh, the first one that pops out to me is clumsy research tools. I gravitate towards other research tools on other platforms, whether it's Fidelity or something else. But I just find them, I don't know how else to define it, just kind of clumsy. As I'm, Whether I'm trying to chart or I'm trying to find specific information on a stock, it's not where I expect it to be. So I find that as a little bit of a drawback. So when I'm trading, I always have Fidelity and E-Trade up right next to each other. And that brings me to my second con here because lag, slow website response, E-Trade, for whatever reason, I'm not sure what it is, but it's always slow for me. I don't know if it's got too much going on on the website itself, but it always lags behind. Fidelity seems a lot crisper than E-Trade does. And that bothers me. I like quick response. So all the competition on all these platforms has created very low fees. But one small con for E-Trade is the option contract fee. So if you're getting into options, you will find a contract fee on E-Trade as well as Fidelity, but you won't find it on Robinhood. So I have to consider that a con and something to consider if you're getting heavily into options. There are other reasons I wouldn't recommend Robinhood, but in this case, the fee is free. So. That big zero is better than, I think, what is it, 65 cents, the low fee on E-Trade. It's still low, but if you do a lot of trading, it will add up over time. All right, so there you have it, a one-year review of E-Trade. Uh, if you were to corner me and say, Dave, which is it going to be, Fidelity or E-Trade? I'm going to go with Fidelity. But E-Trade is a very capable platform, one that I will continue to use that I do like. I'd recommend it for anyone. So uh, please, like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please shout down below. I really appreciate you watching. Take care. Have a great night. Whoop.